Uh, we'd like to you just know, go ambassador on. to the United we're Nations in Geneva, permanent representative. Of uh, South Africa to the UN. Uh, thank you, Nozipo. We just want to garner your initial uh, reaction uh, to the voting result or to the tally we just heard a little while earlier. Should I speak and answer now? or You can answer now. You're live on air, Your Excellency. Oh, all right, all right, all right. No, no, I think it's a big achievement. It really is a, a, a big achievement. I don't know if you saw the count. It was adopted by an overwhelming majority. And the interesting thing for me is that the key EU members uh, allowed it to pass through, isolating the U.S., to show that what the U.S. has done to precipitate this was thoroughly irresponsible. Israel must be held to account. Your Excellency, there were a number mm -hmm. of abstentions, 14 in total. Um, was that uh, diplomacy, or how do you read that? It is a balancing act of uh, interest, uh, uh, but it's also a reprimand. These, some of them are countries who would vote no. Some of them are countries who would have rejected it, uh, this resolution, had it not been because of the way in which uh, 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 the president of the United States of America has chosen to approach uh, 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 the global system of uh, governance. So the UK uh, abstained and did not uh, vote in favor, whereas I think before they would have voted in favor. And the EU just like clustered in small groups that spoke in favor, some supporting, others abstaining, uh, uh, contrary to what would have happened. So I saw the abstention by key members of the Security Council as an enabling a, 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 a stand to allow the resolution to pass with a sizable majority. Uh, Ambassador, we heard earlier from uh, early on this month from U.S. Donald Trump saying that the U.S. is the largest funder or the biggest financier to the United Nations. But it is heartening to note that a lot, the majority of our nations refused to be intimidated and did vote to go ahead with this commission of inquiry. You know, it is a myth to say the U.S. is the biggest funder. It is the biggest debt. It owns the United Nations money in back dues, in back dues. It is a shaker of its responsibilities. Ostensibly, it should be the largest paying country, but depending on which president is in power, mm. they will withdraw funding, but we cannot allow the international rule of law uh, to be founded on blackmail of this nature. Mm. Uh, Your Excellency, your thoughts on some of the points that were raised by uh, some of the countries that abstained and uh, the ones that d voted no, saying that uh, this resolution, whilst it's a, a good idea, that it wasn't balanced and it wasn't complete and that uh, organizations such as Hamas also should be investigated in this uh, uh, particular uh, resolution. Uh, 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 Australia that says that, mm. where Australia is generally goes with the U.S., and uh, it's Hungary that said that, uh, uh, generally they would go in that way, and a few countries where there are sensitivities about opposing Israel historically. Thank you. That was... I saw uh, them in, in terms of the predicament that they are in. I mean, uh, you know, Australia has no problem following the U.S., but the other countries have genuine, genuine difficulty. I mean, Germany, I mean, really, uh, 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 I understand where they stand. All right, Your Excellency, we're going to leave it there for the time being, but thank you very much indeed. That was mm. the UN uh, permanent representative, our, our ambassador to the UN, in mm. effect, South Africa, uh, speaking to us uh, from uh, on the line. Uh, about the vote, the special session that's taken place in Geneva. Uh, the uh, resolution has been adopted and there will be an inquiry into the killings that took place in uh, Palestine, on the Palestinian mm. border, Gaza, with Israel.